statistically unmatched this season, and they're looking to go wire to wire in their quest to capture the East. Just look at all the categories they lead in. Three-point makes, point differential, rebounding. That one, Stephen A., I wouldn't have guessed. We nitpick at the Celtics enough. So this, I'm going to flip this on its head, Stephen A. Why will this year be the year the Celtics just exercise their playoff demons and actually get to the mountaintop? Because I think Tatum and Brown are going to show the world that they're legitimized the superstars in this game, especially Jason Tatum. I think he's aching for an opportunity to make amends for the subpar performance he put forth against the Golden State Warriors a couple of years ago where he was neither the first nor the second best player on the court. Jalen Brown was the best Celtic for the Boston Celtics in that final series against the Warriors. Obviously, and Steph Curry was the best in the business. We get all of that. I'm proud of what I'm seeing from Porzingis. Shoot 48% from three-point range. Let's not forget that, okay, during this 10-game winning streak, averaging nearly 24 a game. I'm looking at that, and they cut down just a touch on the amount of three-point shots. They were shooting about 44 a game. Now they're down to about 42.6. I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at Missoula constantly fit you know, focusing on mismatches, mismatches, mm -hmm. and creating mismatches. I give them props where it's due, but ultimately I believe when it comes to playoff basketball, there are no secrets. Even though there's, we've seen yep. Steve Kerr and his brilliance along with others, it does come down to it's me against you. I know exactly what you're going to do. What the hell are you going to do about it? And I think that's what wins you championships. I think Jason Tatum has the ability to pull it off, and I think we're going to see him do it. Yeah, I, think it's, I think that's all. I agree with all that. I, I don't know if I have the same conviction level, but if you ask the same way, what, what is going to be different or why will they do it? I might say because of guys like Drew Holiday, Derek White, these guys are – Probably, I don't want to say Drew Holiday's a role player. That's well, not No, but there fair. was the knock yeah. that, oh, who's the Celtics point guard? Yeah. Marcus Smart isn't a true point guard. They don't have that question. And now Holiday's defense in the playoffs is just relentless. Mm. Derek White's one of the most underappreciated players mm. in the NBA. Porzingis has been an unbelievable fit. I don't know why you're looking at me Because I think like Jimmy that. Butler would have something okay, to say about fine. that relentless you know comment about okay. Holiday. That's Can I all. finish? That's Did I let right. him I let him go talk? Ahead. Right? Go you haven't learned how this works yet. No, I just thought we respect each other. Excuse me, I let you talk all the time. I don't know. I let you talk all the time. I let you talk I defer to you. I give okay, you the fine. Okay, okay, okay go, go ahead. Listen. Okay, thank you. Uh, here's what's going to be fascinating. There's going to be moments in the playoffs in the Eastern Conference, and then hopefully if you're a Celtics fan in the finals, where we're going to get to see can Jason Tatum do it. Mm. We're going to get to see it. There's going to be a shot he has to make, a play he has to make. He's going to have to do that, right, to win a championship. We're going to find that out. But he's been doing that better this year. I know you have him as your MVP. Better than any of the year. And he has – I don't know that he'll ever have a better supporting cast than right now. I think for Boston, Joe Mazzulla, I think this is a coach now in his second year with a full offseason, a full training camp, bringing on his own staff, Charles Lee, a future head coach in the league, Sam Cassell, you know, one of the great assistants in this league. Yes. He's going to have his back in the locker room uh, with their star players uh, up and down their lineup. Uh, I think for Boston, and having Jeff Van Gundy in that building now, our former colleague, one of the best basketball minds, anywhere to have him as a consultant to be able to bounce things off him I think Joe Missoula is so much more uh, he, uh, sure in his convictions yep. of how they need to play he's leading that group leading that room I think it's such a different uh, coaching situation for the Celtics heading into the postseason this year than last year when he was just thrown into it the Celtics, look, I love Boston, right? They, they will be forever my home away from home, but the fans are starting to get on my damn nerves. They're the type of people that want to invite you to dinner and then make you pay for it. Not only make you pay for it, they want to order the appetizers, they want to order the full course meal, dessert, and they want you to sing happy birthday to them. And guess what? It's not even their birthday. What is actually and today the reason, is Jason. The reason, the reason I'm saying that is because, you know, they, they want – the, the praise, right? They want you to say, oh, Jason Tatum, he should be in the MVP conversation, right? And you go out on the limb and you say, you know what? He actually should be in the MVP conversation. And then when you try to call him out and put a little fire up under his butt to make sure that he reminds the world on national TV in certain matchups like today when Steph Curry is going into your crib, you need to show the world why you should be one of the front runners for the MVP. 
They just get on my damn nerves. Well, I you, love you, them. First, first, first of all, first, hold on. Well, it's kind of a couple of things. First, first of all, first of all, that is the most nonsensical thing that's ever been uttered out of your mouth, <laughs> especially coming from you. It's ridiculous. Well, first of all, let's cover a couple, couple of things. Number one, you talked about you holding accountable. Well, if you have the right to hold them accountable, Boston fans have a right to hold them accountable. The Boston Celtics fans, you have praised them for years. A matter of fact, you've credited them with holding y'all accountable and establishing uh, a standard that ultimately has led to them being one of the greatest sports franchises in the history of the sport, in the history of sports annals. But now you're going to sit up here and complain about them the way that you do? That's just shameful. It's shameful. Stephen A., I'm a lot, I know I talk slow, but I'm smart as hell. Okay, and you cannot pull that on me. I said nothing about accountability. All I was saying was... You said they're getting your damn nerves. But the reason why is because when we talk about Jason Tatum and we talk about these matchups like today, that we would like to see him demonstrate why he and, should be on it why he I, should be and on I'm it. simply saying Boston fans okay, have never but, changed it helped let, you let me, win a let ring let me finish this I hear hey, let me give you some advice don't criticize <laughs> I don't, don't, win don't, don't criticize fans <laughs>